Hi YouTube, it's Catherine Michelle. Today marks four years since the bodies of David, Kamel, and Rania Crowley were found in their homes. Um, and they're still, the police still are refusing to look at this as anything other than a murder-suicide, which they were calling it that on the way to the residence before they even arrived and even after they arrived. And why? Because one of the people who lived on the street called in um, uh, reporting seeing the bodies and they called it a murder-suicide. These people who didn't even know the family, these, this, these people who didn't even have their phone numbers, they just looked in a window, saw bodies lying on the floor, called it a murder-suicide, and the police never investigated any other um, possibility. We have since found that David's skull has uh, sustained, had sustained multiple blunt force trauma. Um, there were tools that I listed that were consistent with the indentations left in the skull. And we know beyond a shadow of a doubt, there is no doubt, there is 100% proof David is innocent of these murders, that he was a victim of murder himself, yet this crime is going to go unpunished. The police are going to allow their stance to remain as David was the perpetrator when he himself was a victim. Not only was he a victim from the people who did this atrocity to himself and his family, but he's also a victim of the legal system, of the police officers, of the legal system, of attorneys, of everybody who is associated with Apple Valley, Minnesota, who is either too lazy, too scared, or too incompetent to do their job and to bring justice to this family. And that is an absolute disgusting shame. It's appalling. Where's the justice for this family? Where's the outcry? Every newspaper, the New Yorker, the um, every newspaper, in online newspaper you can think of, didn't mind reporting this as a murder suicide. They were all over it. But now that they have proof that David was murdered, it's silent. It's too deadly silent. Why? You, you as in the police officers, you as in the people who are constantly throwing out your agenda about this family, you state that we're conspiracy theorists. You want to cover up what you have done wrong. And when we expose it, you don't like it. Well, too bad. So today, let's remember this family Let's keep fighting for this family because the, the Crowley family is not standing up for David and Kamel and Rania. The Alam family is not standing up for David, Kamel and Rania. Why? What is it that they were told that we do not know that would keep them silent on such a horrific act? It's mind boggling, mind boggling. I don't get it. I never will understand it. To me, those who are bullies, those who threaten others, and then when those who are threatened cave, I don't understand that mentality. You threaten because you're a coward. You threaten because you're a bully. You rip others apart because you yourself don't have the character to stand against something that is wrong. And that's a shame on you. But because you are afraid does not mean that an innocent man will be torn down and continue. I will not allow you to continue to tear this man down anymore. We're going to keep voicing it. We're going to keep putting that proof out there. And we don't want anyone to forget the atrocity that happened in Apple Valley, Minnesota. And please keep David, Kamel, and Ronnie in your prayers. Thank you.